Well, here at Redgate Farm, gone are the days of gardening, and we are deep into the throes of our carrot season. Pretty much from November through January, this is our primary mission and our primary income. So we decided to take some cameras along on one of our carriage rides. Now this is a casual event, so not a lot of time scrubbing the horses and stuff, but it gives you a good idea, start to finish, what's entailed. Now after nine hours of work and a lot of footage, Danielle was able to squeeze it down to 35 minutes. So it may be a little long for some, but it does give you some good insight. I'm uh, getting the carriage ready for tonight's rides. So I gotta check everything, make sure it works. And then I've gotta pull the carriage in, fill all the buckets, put all the supplies in. It's a lot of work. This is cheating. We used to push this in by hand. So we bought these E-tracks and installed them in the side, so that just stays clipped all the time. And this one, we just bring it over here, and clip it in. If I can clip it in, there we go. And then I can just tighten it. Makes it a lot quicker. Well, I'm checking, these are our manure pails that we take with us, and uh, so I've got a little one at the staging area, so it's not so obnoxious, and then i got a big one that I keep nearby, and that way if this gets filled up, which on a long night it will, I'll be able to run back to the trailer and empty it out. And uh, then we've got our toolbox, we've got manure rakes, we've got broom, we've got cones to cordon off areas, maybe block parking spots, uh, set up a queue line. We've got some uh, pellets here so the horses get a snack while they're sitting there. And if we get a break, we give them a snack. We got a chair if my footman gets tired. All sorts of goodies. Up front here, I got my uh, bun bags. I check those. I want to make sure I got rings on those. And uh, sometimes we put rocks in there because it catches the manure a little bit better. And then got a second bucket for feed and also if we want to water the horses uh, we give them a break we give them water while we're there nice big bucket so they can get their whole head into it I got a grooming kit there 
I checked my winch operator. And this is my pooper scooper with my little thing. And then up there I've got I've got my horse-drawn wagon ride sign. I don't know if you can see that up there. And uh, it's way up there. It's hard to see. And then I check the trunk of the carriage because I have stuff like my hand sanitizer. I've got, oh yeah, it's COVID-19 season. So between every single rider, looks like I got a broken spray valve there. Between every single rider, we actually completely wipe down the carriage and we spray Lysol inside there. And unfortunately, they didn't have the regular flavor Lysol that you grew up with. Now they have like a million cents. And the only one left on the store shelf was Hawaiian Tropic, I think it was. It, I, I can't stand the smell, but, well, it's COVID, right? And uh, let's see, we got a table in there, we got a blanket. And then uh, I go up and I test all the batteries. I got two batteries in the carriage, got a battery for the hoist. I wanna make sure all my batteries are topped out at top level. When I Flash. Yep. Okay. Well, while Sean's busy getting the carriage and trailer ready, we're going to head down the track and find the horses. Well, we've come about a quarter of a mile down the track, and I was really hoping they'd be at this first hay bag, but they're not, which means we have to walk at least another quarter of a mile to the next hay bag. This is how we stay fit around here. Still walking. Still walking. We're almost there. We found the horses finally. I had surgery a few weeks ago and uh, I'm still recovering. It's taken a little longer than we'd hoped. So I'm really missing driving the girls. I'm usually the driver and Sean and works as the footman, but uh, this year I'm not quite ready for driving much yet. So I'm kind of missing the girls. Haven't been spending as much time with them lately, but we'll be back to it soon enough. At least Sean's able to drive well enough and uh, they're getting plenty of exercise and work to keep them going. Make it to the barn. We bring plenty of water because um, if they pee on the pavement, we try to wash it down and then of course we have drinking water. We don't get uh, water on site because our horses are spoiled. We've got great well water and we've got a creek down there. So if we go and fill up at a hydrant with city water, they won't touch it. And I can't afford to have the horses not drinking for three hours, but they can't stand the smell of chlorine. So uh, we always bring our own water. for a carriage event takes a lot of elbow grease, especially if we're not giving them a bath. I have a few favorite tools. Of course, Shoshin we can't live without on these thick manes and tails. People love them, but boy, they can be rough to comb through in the middle of winter. Um, and then of course, I've got basic grooming supplies. But I tell you, two of the critical things we use are a good rubber curry. That brings the dust up so we can blow it off later. And the other one I use is a good metal curry because these girls live on track. They pick up chunks of mud, it dries to their hair, and this tool is excellent for just scraping it right off. So it cuts our grooming time down significantly. 
but it'll still take us probably a good half hour to get these girls groomed up. questions that we are often asked about our horses and our carriage business is do the horses really like to work well you know I really can't answer that I'm not in a horse's brain but what I do know is as you saw earlier even though my horses have about a mile of track to run away from us they don't it is so easy to catch them even though they know it's gonna be a work day when we catch them at you know in the middle of the afternoon um, furthermore, they go through a good 30 to 45 minute grooming process, which they adore. So to them, this is like a great massage, stimulating their hair follicles, and uh, they just relish in that. They get good scratches, they do their little funny lip thing, so this is a time they really enjoy. Thirdly, we have no doubt they love people. They love to ham it up for the camera, they make faces, they love the attention they get when out in public especially during a non-COVID year, they just get surrounded by people loving on them. This year it's a little more limited, but um, whether they actually enjoy pulling the carriage, I can't say, but they certainly don't give us a hard time, and I think all the other benefits they get make it worthwhile. Most importantly though, it's excellent work for them both physically and mentally. It stimulates them, it keeps them fit, and like even people, we all need a purpose in life. So that's the way we feel about it. Now comes the fun part. Once we loosen up all the dust and dirt, we do a little desensitizing. It's actually, Once they're dusted off, they go back into their tie stalls to eat, drink, and relax until it's time to harness. trick we use is to put a little vet wrap on their tail and uh, this is just a little trick to help the bun bag clips go on a little easier without having to worry about tangling in the hair. Normally I use black so it matches but look it up, look it up. I use black so it matches but I'm out of black so they're getting green tonight. to do a quick check of the feet before we leave and sometimes we'll even use rubber boots if they're doing a lot of work since we run our horses barefoot. But these girls have both been trimmed up in the last week so they're looking good and nice and sound. Boy that's a beautiful barefoot right there isn't it? Sound and ready for work. What's going on here? It's snack time before we load the horses and head out on carriage rides, because once we start, we don't have time to break for dinner, so we just find whatever we can and start eating it. What have we got? We've got chips and queso, uh, a little water, chips. trail mix. A bowl of white rice. This is an interesting dish you're eating out of, Aiden. What is mixed in there? Coconut? Coconut. Okay. <laughs> and uh, leftover bowl. boiled peanuts from the garden. And Dad, you have a different bowl. What was in that? Well, I had white rice. White rice. Okay. Well, yeah, nobody will ever accuse you guys of having a boring diet. <laughs> Say hi, Kyla. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure hi. what that was. <laughs> all right, now we got to get all of our equipment here. We, these are our radios, our earpieces, our backup radios, our backup earpieces, and these are our Haim lights. 
And then we get uh, a power bank here in case things run low and charging cords. We have to head out to the truck, load them up. All right, it's time to harness. So once again, I'm staying home tonight and uh, my oldest son and husband are getting ready. So we've got the typical pre-carriage ride, getting ready chaos going on. It's just about time to leave. Gotta have plenty of winter gear for a cold night like this one. Alright, before we leave, we always do the checklist here. So, cash box, we don't need zip ties, we've got them. Groom the horses you took care of. Harness horses, harness clean. Sign is in the gooseneck. Hand sanitizer's in the trunk. Blower is in the truck beds. Alright, you guys have fun, stay safe, take care of my girls and my boys here. Will do. Bye. Love ya. Sun's setting over there and uh, we're heading up to Lincoln, Illinois. It's about 45 minutes away. By the time we get there it'll be a little bit dark, uh, probably a lot bit dark, but uh, with this new trailer it's kind of nice. We've got a lot of side lighting and interior lighting so we can get set up in the dark and tear down in the dark and uh, we're pretty well equipped for that. So when we get there it's kind of busy and then it really clears out pretty quickly after about an hour or so. So we'll see how it goes. These tiny towns are kind of hard to haul a horse trailer through, especially when you got to make a right turn. girls out.
get these bun bags on pretty quick because uh, they can drop a load right here on the sidewalk and we want to catch it if we can. getting close here uh, as you can see obviously we got here and it's dark but uh, we got some good trailer lights and stuff we got the carriage all set up and the horses are all harnessed up and what we do now is we take a break and uh, we'll go around both horses to make sure that all the harnessing is correct and uh, all the rigging is correct then we drive them over hook them up to the carriage and then once they get on the carriage, we double check all the harnessing and stuff. Then we'll go over to the site, we'll set up the table, and uh, we'll do one, do one last walk around and then we'll load passengers. So uh, let's button up and get ready. I like how they decorated the Christmas trees. Each tree has a sponsor. It's got a little sign telling you who they uh, to put the tree up. So as a footman, when the carriage uh, arrives, then it is our job to disinfect and wipe down all surfaces that have been touched and get it ready for the next group of passengers. We then load the next group of passengers and send off the carriage. After the carriage leaves, I go over to the next group waiting in line and basically explain to them how to safely load and exit the carriage and how to safely go up and take photos and pet the horses. So, looks like they're coming in now. So another part of being a footman is poop duty. So I just got word that uh, we've got a full bun bag. So when they get back, Nathan's gonna start disinfecting the carriage and getting the next passengers loaded and I'm gonna be changing a horse's diaper. Going about two hours now. The line's getting a little lower, but not too much. Looks like people are having a good time and the weather's great, so.
Well, three hours of rides. Oh, it's no fun to sit down for three hours. It feels so good to stand up. The girls did good tonight. They were spunky. Sometimes they get a little bored, so after about three hours, they can't wait to get hey, done. Yo, almost done. All right, ready? Clear. All right, girls, step up. son at the driver's seat because I'm tired. Actually, I'm not. I sat on my duff all night, but he likes to drive and he needs a little time at night. It gives me a chance to eat. All you did was sit around and eat the whole time, right? Haven't had a bite. No. Okay. Well, there's Nathan back there relaxing. It's about 9.30 or so, I guess, and we're heading home head back to uh, unload the horses. We're home finally. Hey guys. Home sweet home. Were you busy? Sorry, it's dark out here. There we go. How are the girls for you? They got more and more energetic as the night went on. <laughs> That's backwards. <laughs> it's totally backwards. They were calm and cool and collected. As the night went on, they got bored, so they wanted to go, go play. Yeah, yeah. come on, girls. We had a packed line until about 8.30. Oh yeah, I mean, it was, it was really? packed tonight. Come on, Now it's about 10, what about 10, 15 or so? No, We're finally home in the barn. Yes, it is. 10, 15. So we started this day around 1 o'clock this afternoon. It's now 10, 15. Okay. You want me to pull that harness? Yes, please. I'll trade you. I'm not quite ready for that part. Oh, okay. Hey, 
Hey, you left me in manure, honey. Huh? Yeah. What's up with that? You're not supposed to put that <laughs> I always do that. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry. That's okay. You give me the heavy stuff. There you go. I got it. chargers in because we've got two more events tomorrow so I gotta get those batteries charged up again. I probably have hat head don't I? Not too bad. Videoing my hat head. Probably better than mine. <laughs> you already videoed. <laughs> gonna let the girls go get a good roll. Usually the first thing they do. And Grace is still standing at the gate. Actually, she just came up. I think she knew it was time for you to be home. Like I said before, I gotta get that battery charger out. Get these batteries hooked up in the carriage. We gotta take all these electric devices that we took with us and plug them in and charge them up and get them ready for tomorrow. Okay, we're back inside now. I've had dinner at 11 o'clock at night. A hot cup of tea, a hot fire. The kids are in bed, the horses are out on track. It's time to rest. But as you can see, it's a long day and it's a family affair. Everybody's pretty much involved. Gotta get some rest because tomorrow we have two events. And when we do that, we want to make sure we have a long enough break between them that we can feed and water the horses and they can have some relaxation too. So the next time somebody says, why does it cost so much to take a carriage ride? Maybe you can tell them why. Hey, thanks for watching. We love what we do and if you'd like to help us out, we're trying to reach a goal right now. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. If you have, leave us a comment. We love to reply to those and learn from other people, and we hope we can spread the learning ourselves. Until then, have a Merry Christmas.